Hey guys, it's Max. Max Dodd, as you know. Um, today, we got something special for you guys. The Horizon Hobby E-Flight UMX Beast 3D. This is the new version from 2014. This is the AS3, um, AS3X excuse me, gyro in it um, system. So it's a lot more stable. We're out on a nice, calm, sunny day. So, got my DX4E Spectrum transmitter to fly it with. Pretty nice. And I'm going to be flying it with an E-Flight 2S 7.4 volt, 180 20C, or 180 milliamp 20C lithium uh, LiPo battery. So that's going to give us plenty of power. Alright, fully charged. Let's go ahead and open up the piece. Yeah. Open it up. As you see, when you open up the box here, you got Whoa. the Beast plane. The Beast. The 3D Beast. I'm going to go ahead and take it out for you guys. I got the bind and fly version. I've already crashed it once, but it's super durable, guys. This thing's incredibly durable. You hit a power line, didn't you? Yep. I hit a power line. And I'm not ashamed. I actually learned. But that is my 3D beast. That is a beast. Check that thing That's out. That's the beast. AS3X gyro. And inside <laughs> the cockpit here, we have a... Okay, you that. Horizon Hobby E Flight 2500 KV brushless motor. Yep, right there. Yep. So that'll give us plenty of flight power. Velcro to hold the battery pack in. So, enough talking, guys. Let's get the show on the road. That's right. Alright. So, the first thing I'm going to need to do is turn on my DX. Let me set the transmitter up here. Turn on my DX4E transmitter. Make sure all the trims are centered. Plug in my E flight battery. Now it's bound. Now, make sure everything works. Everything works. Now guys, the first thing that we're gonna check is to active to activate the gyro. I know you're like, where's the gyro? Well, to activate the gyro, you have to hit the gas. Now the gyro is activated. Yeah, you can hear it. So now what you have to do is you're going to sit it on a flat surface, and you want to level out the trims. You want to get everything straight in line. So that's straight. The elevator straight. The elevator actually looks quite straight. And the ailerons. Alright guys, so now that the ailerons and the elevators and everything are straight, let's get the sucker up and going. I thought by accident. Alright, let's make a part two because we're into about three minutes. Alright guys, so look so for this is part one of the This beast. is the intro. Alright, thank the you. In, the intro of the beast. Part one. Part one. Yeah. Check out part two to see it fly.